This morning we're going to go over how to assemble a Mayfield positioner. A Mayfield positioner is used in neurosurgery to secure the patient's head to the table. There are four parts that we need to grab from the neurosurgery annex room before we do a craning. Typically the patient is going to come into the OR, they're going to be intubated, and once we get the okay from anesthesia, then we're going to proceed with positioning the head. This is the four parts that we need to recognize today. We have the head clamp, which is located there, and that comes in two pieces, and I'll show you how those work. Then we have an attachment arm that attached to the bed frame and the actual head clamp. And then we have a bed adapter that we're going to have to use. And then this is the main stabilizer for the Mayfield itself. So these are the four pieces that we're going to have to use. So what we want to do, and I'm going to change the perspective here, is once we get the okay, one of the residents or attendings or medical student is going to hold the patient's head still. At this point, we're going to remove the head of this bed. So we're going to undo the locks on the side of the bed here and one on this side as well. And I can imagine if there was a patient here, we would be supporting the patient's head while we remove this part of the bed. The next step is we're going to put in the bed adapter and lock that in place. Sometimes you can have the bed adapter and the next part of the main field already attached together to save time, but I just want to illustrate there are two pieces. After that, place the positioning device all the way in and lock that in place. Then we have this adapter, which is going to screw in like so. And all of these should be loose, so you can manipulate the angles before we pin the patient. Lastly, we have the Mayfield head device. Um, before we come in the room, the nurse or the resident is going to get the sterile pins. We put bacitracin inside the caps of the pins, so the tips of the pins are coated in bacitracin. And then we're going to find the correct position that we want to position the patient for the craniotomy. And then we're going to slowly place the Mayfield on the patient's cranium. And then we're going to dial in the pressure. I'm not going to go over that today because that's not the purpose of this video. It's simply to illustrate how this fits on a bed. So now we're going to imagine the resident is still holding the patient's head. They're pinned in place. And now the secondary person is going to come. Make sure all these pieces are loose. And however we want the head, we can manipulate this such that this is going to line up. So if you want the patient positioned like this, or if you want it flat on, what we can do is position this, move this over, you can lift this, you can move things. So we can get whatever position we want. I'm just going to put it in any old position for the time being. We'll call this the position we want today. Now I'm going to sequentially lock starting from the top, moving all the way down. So once I'm okay with this position, I'm going to lock this piece, then I'm going to move down and secure the next. Then lastly, I'm going to push in the gold bar. Sometimes we wrap tape around the gold bar just to secure it even more. And lastly, we'll double check everything. But when we unlock it, it's going to be opposite. We'll start with the bar, then this position, and lastly this position. This way, the articulation starts from the top to the bottom, so we have minimal risk in jarring the patient while they're in a stable position in the bed. So if we're going to unlock it, we're going to do the exact same thing. When we're done with the case, somebody's going to hold the patient's head. We're going to undo that bar, so now we have this degree of freedom. Then we're going to 
going to loosen up this arm, so now we have this degree. And lastly, we're going to come off the headpiece like this. And somebody's stabilizing the head, we're going to let this piece fall through. Then, I'm going to imagine someone else is holding this, so I'm going to get rid of that for now. You would unlock this as a unit, like so, and pull the whole piece out, like that. And we're going to place that in another part of the room, away from the patient's bed that might have come in at this time, out of the way of the anesthesia. We're going to grab the original piece of the bed, like so, put that back in, lock it in place, the two black screws, like so. Then place the sheet back over this. And the anesthesia might want a pillow or something, but then the patient's head can go back on this and they can be ready for extubation or transfer to the ICU bed.